Good morning, this is Pastor Keith Hodges, and I want to welcome you today to Every Day Sunday. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Well, today I'm rejoicing over the fact that today is our 125th episode of Every Day Sunday. 125 episodes later, here we are still daily encouraging you uh, to live every day like Sunday, a day of worship, a day to serve God, love God, and love people and make a difference. So in honor of our 125th episode, I want to give away another copy of my devotional book. It's a 30-day devotional called Soar, Seven Steps to Personal Growth and Spiritual Significance. I want to give this away to somebody today. Uh, so if you will like and share uh, this uh, devotional video, uh, we will get you registered and tomorrow morning. I'll announce who our winner is and I'll get you an autographed copy of uh, my latest devotional book, Soar. So this morning, I want to talk to you about a message simply entitled Eternal Perspective and Daily Pleasure. Eternal Perspective and Daily Pleasure. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 11 through 13 says this. It says, Yet God has made everything beautiful for its own time, and he has planted eternity. Listen to that. He has planted eternity in the human heart, but even so, people cannot see the whole scope of God's work from beginning to end. So Solomon makes a conclusion here. Look at verse 12. So I concluded that there is nothing better than to be happy and enjoy ourselves as long as we can. And people should eat and drink and enjoy the fruits of their labors. These are gifts from God. Let me share a couple thoughts with you today along the idea of an eternal perspective, but daily pleasure. So we need to live our lives with an eternal perspective. The Bible says God has planted eternity in the human heart. And the reality is everybody you know, every human being has one common denominator. We all want to live. And not only do we want to live, we want to live forever. There is this desire in the human heart to live forever. We have eternity set within us. It is that God-shaped hole in our heart that cannot be filled with anything temporal. There is an eternal longing for an eternal God and for an eternal life that only Jesus Christ can give us. So we need to live our lives with an eternal perspective. We need to be looking and recognizing uh, the big picture of that we're living for something more than temporal life. But I want to pause that by saying this. We need to live our lives with an eternal perspective, which I believe, hear me, I believe means that we should enjoy our lives. If I'm going to live forever, guess what? As a Christian, I'm not going to live forever when I die. I'm going to live forever now. I'm going to live forever. I'm never going to die. Jesus said, if you believe in me, he who believes in me will never die. Yes, I'll lay down my earthly body, but I'm going to live forever. So I don't wait till I get to heaven to start living my life. I start living the life God's called me to live right here, right now, in this moment. Now, let me give you a couple thoughts. I, I don't believe that we enjoy our lives because one day we're going to die and it's all going to be over. Absolutely not right. We're Christians. We are going to live forever. And I believe this. I believe the best way for me to live and for you to live a fruitful Christian life, hear me, the best way for you to live a fruitful Christian life is to enjoy your life right now, today, this day. Solomon said eternity has been set in our heart, so he concluded we should be happy and we should enjoy our lives because this is the gift of God. Here's what I understand. You and I, the best way for us to be fruitful Christians and to lead other people to Jesus is to begin to enjoy our daily lives. An eternal perspective, but daily pleasure. Why? Because I've never met a miserable Christian that led other people to Christ. Think about it. We all, unfortunately, uh, know people that are Christians and they're grumpy and they're grouchy and they're miserable and they can't wait till they die and go to heaven to get out of this miserable, stinking world, right? We all know people like that. And you know what I know about miserable Christians? They never lead people to Christ. Not one person. Nobody comes to them and says, I want what you got. No. They look at them and they say, if that's what Christianity is all about, at least I can go get drunk on Friday night and be happy for a couple hours on a bar stool. And they're miserable all the time. So one of the best ways for me to live a fruitful life for Christ is to begin to enjoy my everyday life. I live with an eternal perspective, but I have daily pleasure because it makes me a fruitful Christian. So I want to give you a Monday morning challenge. Here it is, really simple. Here's the Monday morning challenge. I want to challenge you to find the little pleasures in your life. Find the little pleasures in your life. Find the things that help you enjoy your life 
on a daily basis. Maybe it's reading a book. Maybe it's spending time with your family. Maybe it's just quiet time alone with God. Uh, maybe it's a, a run or a walk through nature. Maybe it's walking your dog. I'm not sure. Playing with your kids. Find the things that bring you little pleasures, daily pleasures in life. So find what those things are. Identify them. Literally clarify and identify the things that bring you pleasure. And then I want to challenge you. Here's a challenge. Find those things and then make time for them. Make time for something every day because you need to live with an eternal perspective, but you need daily pleasure. Because if you don't have daily pleasure, you know what will happen. If you just constantly work, 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 if you just constantly press, 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 you're going to lose the joy that makes you a contagious Christian. But if I can discipline myself, hear me, if I can discipline myself to live with an eternal eternal perspective, but find daily pleasure, if I can find time every day, maybe it's five minutes, maybe it's 50 minutes, maybe it's a couple hours, but if I can find time every day to do something that I find pleasure and something that brings me joy and helps me to enjoy my everyday life, all of a sudden, I become more effective I become more powerful, and I become more influential for the kingdom of God. So here's the challenge. Find the little pleasures in your life, the things that make you happy, and make time for them every day. I would love for you to comment below and share with me maybe what are your little pleasures? What are some of those things that you try to incorporate into your daily life that help you enjoy your life and make you a better witness for Jesus Christ? Today, I'm excited because I'm going to go on a bike ride. I haven't went on a bike ride since COVID-19 hit and crazy things. Everything was shaking up. We changed our schedules. Today, I'm going to go on a bike ride. I'm excited. Why? Because I enjoy a little bit of exercise. I enjoy riding my bike. And so I'm fired up today. That's my little pleasure for today. Day. I'm going to take a bike ride and enjoy my daily life. What about you? Share that with me. Like and share today's video so you can win our book, uh, our daily devotional. God bless you today uh, as you live with an eternal perspective, but find daily pleasure that makes you influential for Jesus. Have a great day in the Lord.